We just had one of our greatest garage sale weekends of all time. We're gonna show everything that we found, how much we paid, how much we think we'll profit, and talk about some strategies of how we got all of these items in one weekend, so let's dive in. We're gonna start with the first portion of the garage sale weekend, and this was one video, the garage sale battle. The first two hours on Thursday of the community-wide sale, this is the Super Bowl of garage sales, it's epic, and uh, it did not disappoint this year. So it was team experienced over here versus the crew team, and both did really well for different reasons. So the crew team had some incredible finds, including the best find was this $5 2DS XL with both Pokemon games. I still can't believe that. The Pokemon cards were 10. Those are gonna be worth about 70. Look out for these Build Bear Workshop cards. You wouldn't think much of them, but they're 10 to 15 bucks in sealed condition like this. And then this guy, Imaginex, the Power Rangers thing, three bucks they paid, it should be worth about 50, and it has a remote somewhere else. Um, these, if you find them for a dollar, you might as well pick them up, they're about 10 bucks, 10 to 12 bucks shipped. Um, so that, those were some really good finds out of them. They got the PS3 and the PS2 on an ask. That's the key for almost every single score that we had over the weekend was, it was on an ask. Like there's nothing out at sales hardly anymore, especially the good stuff. But if you get out there, you ask at every single sale, you're gonna have success. In theory, some weeks you might not, um, but if you're getting out there early and often and you don't just give up after a few sales or you stick with it and go the next day, it's gonna work out. So the, you paid 50 for 45 bucks for those two and then 50 for the PS3 with games. And you know, your total value here was like 790 bucks on 123 spent, so an insane margin. I'm saying your as in Alpal who's recording. Um, but I got these Legos. This was our first score. We started out kind of slow and all these Legos for 90 bucks. I still can't believe it. Packed full of hundreds of minifigures. This bag is just like a small portion of what's actually there. Let me know what you, if, you got, if you're a Lego expert, let me know what you think this is worth. There's a lot of like partially built sets, a lot of sealed baggies from sets. They're going to be, it looks like they're mostly 2010 to 2015 era right in there. Star Wars, Marvel, amazing stuff. And then all of these finds we also got. These gloves I'm, I'm intrigued by. I usually don't buy that kind of thing. I think we're going to start buying it more because, you know, Alpal and I were mentioning that's a really e easy eBay listing. Um, and, and we're going to talk about how we're going to process everything in the next video, so subscribe for that one coming out soon. Right now we're focusing on the finds and how we got it, but this one, 175 bucks. Again, this was all on an ask. You got a 3DS, a Wii U, a Wii, the Lego Dimensions, the Lego figures are there. All of that on an ask, really good stuff. The PS4 controllers, Quinn got those for 20 bucks for five of them. Four of them are Sony. That's a great score. You always gotta be buying TI 83 plus, 84 plus calculators, especially when you get them for a dollar. I guess that's what they paid. 25 bucks, this is a bolo that I didn't know about. Casio G-Shock watches. These are 50 to 70 bucks a piece. And Thane got three of these. He, he paid 25 for all of them. That's a fantastic score, over 150 in value. This is a random one, but vintage 90s toys, really anything, you know, somewhat old and sealed is worth at least looking up. I saw this one selling for 25 used, which is like a pool toy. And I'm going to assume that's 50 bucks new, and it was only a buck. Mr. Mike, you got to be on the lookout for him. 50 to 120 bucks in working condition, and I paid two bucks for it. You can see it right there. This probably would have been at the garage sale until two o'clock in the afternoon. Like people don't know that this is worth money. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Nintendogs games can be worth money. That's worth like 20 bucks. Same for Hello Kitty, that's worth about 15. Those were just kind of sitting on the table. So that was a nice little score. On an ask at the two hour mark, we got the Wii U and the PS1. Pros and cons to this one, like the price was 50 bucks. That's a great deal. Stuff is dirty and there were really no games with it. He, he's got a binder full of burned PS1 games, which is a bummer, and then he said all the games are like downloaded on the Wii U, which uh, isn't gonna do me much good from a reselling standpoint. But I did get the Luigi remote and a Wii Remote Plus, the black one. See Yeti, buy Yeti, we got this for two bucks. The Kevin Durant shoes, this is gonna be a learning experience. How would you recommend cleaning these, my shoe experts? Do I put them in the, in the washer? I don't know. I don't know if you can do that. I don't know if that's acceptable. But that was that was our finds. We spent $453 and the value was about $1,690. Conservative uh, estimated value. Um, we're gonna talk about processing this stuff in the next video, but there's so much more that we found in the weekend. 
Let's go over next to the uh, Xbox Series X trade because that was unbelievable. All right, so everything on this table. We traded a Series X and 25 bucks cash for. So $555 investment. This was insane. Matt pulled this one off. We, we, every time we go to a place out of town, we try to get a Facebook Marketplace trade post up a couple days before so that maybe we can work out a trade for the day that we're there. And it, <laughs> this worked out extremely well. This was the only trade we were able to seal but this was a good one. I don't. Matt's adding up the value right now just so we can have it for our records because uh, this is going to be an all-timer. This is probably top three all-time, but you see you got a Vita here. And it was the kind of trade that the Vita has a 32 gigabyte SD card inside of it, which is like a bonus 40 to $50. It's like finding an expansion pack in an N64, which this one does not have. I, I hadn't checked that yet. Um, the Vita games probably average like 25 to 30 bucks a piece. A couple of them are actually sealed and like limited run, which is just, it's just crazy, crazy to find like that. All these Switch games were included. Apparently Mario 3D All-Stars is going for like 80 bucks now. I didn't know that. That really surprised me. But all those, Golden Sun, we did get a fake Golden Sun. This is like washed out color. Like you can just tell that's fake. It doesn't have a stamp. But this one, more importantly, the original is legit. It's got the stamped numbers there. The SP, the Advance, the Color, the 3DS, the DS Lite, all with good games mixed in. The PS1 Classic, the statues, the Collector's Edition statues. Matt's getting to take the Spider-Man home since he made the trade happen. That's a beautiful little uh, collector's piece. GameCube, some games. I think these are what we had to pay the 25 bucks cash for. He named the price. Couldn't argue with that. The SNES is going to need to be unyellowed, um, and the N64 stuff is pretty dirty. But all of the, I mean, this is one of the craziest trades. I can't, I still can't believe it. One of the craziest trades we've ever done. And let me tell you, as we move on to the rest of the stuff, we got so much. The second day of the garage sales where things are picked over and all that, the power of the ask was unbelievably strong. And it was the greatest second day we've ever, I've ever had in eight years of going to this neighborhood sale. So let's check out what we got in the second day. Continuing on to our epic weekend, uh, this was the second half of the first day. So after the battle was over, we continued garage selling kind of as a full group. And this little stack right here I got from a flea market vendor. Uh, he's a cool dude. We've done deals with him in the past. I think I got everything here for about 160 or 170 He gave me about 25 to 35% off. Uh, I did little bundles at a time. Uh, I kind of found out that he works that way better with negotiating. Don't bring it all up there and then try to get the deal. Do it in like... All right, what would you do for these? 20 and 30, will you do 40? So right there you got 20% off, where he might actually give you like 10% off if you say, I got 500 bucks worth of stuff. He might say 450. So you gotta kind of figure out how the vendors work as far that, as that goes. These I got for 10 bucks from a guy that said he tried to sell them on eBay, and he couldn't. Somehow I think I'm gonna be able to, to sell them, because they're really cool. You got Amazing Spider-Man, these are like, from the 70s, this style of book, let's see what this one is actually from, 1980. The Wonder Woman one was from 78. So there's Star Wars in there, there's more Marvel, Doctor Strange. I feel like those have got to be worth some good money. And then this was more of the $5 week, came with a TV, that thing is clean as ever too. Somebody just getting rid of it. They paid five bucks for it, uh, Quinn and Alpel and the other team, I wasn't with them. The Leapfrog, you paid seven bucks for this, you think it's probably worth 50. And then you always got to check the cases. Thane checked it, found Wii Sports inside, paid three bucks for it. Got to pick up dollar games when they're clean. I mean, these are super, super minty. The DSi XL <laughs> did a Facebook deal while we're eating lunch at Taco Bell. My man showed up with this DS case. It's another thing I do, just check the Facebook marketplace of that city, seal a deal, and that's exactly what I did. Six PS2, PS4 games sitting out on the table at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And I got them for 10 bucks. So I got a little bit of a discount. I feel like that was a really good score for that. This was the last score of the first day, 32 bucks. N64 with Rush, two third-party controllers. Pretty decent score. And then this was also the other team's score. They got the 360 bundle, the Wii. Uh, no games really except for the one. Some extra remotes and stuff, 35 bucks all in. So still a nice score. I assume that was on an ask. That was on an ask, almost everything after the first couple hours was on an ask. Now this stuff here, if you go over there, 
I got it queued up so you can look at it here. And shout out to Jason, a viewer. He emailed me and said, hey, are you going to be at the sales this year? I said, you know it. Uh, he said, I got some games to sell. I didn't know what I was getting. I just knew that he, he was bringing games. So we met in the parking lot during that epic trade. They happened at the same time. It was crazy and it started raining. But everything here, 200 bucks, we made a deal for it. There's some Pokemon games, um, some Pokemon cards. You got N64 games. The N64 console has the expansion pack. The only downside is that condition is pretty rough overall. Uh, these games have, I believe, he had them as a child. So, you know, the way kids treat games is what happened here. But 200 bucks, still a good deal, and he was a really nice guy. So that was an awesome uh, thing to get from him. And then over here, we still have more, guys. This weekend was insane. Um, we probably spent like, gosh, maybe sh just shy of three grand. And we got so much stuff, like easily over 10 grand in value on the weekend. But you've got the, uh, this was a fun one. We went into the basement of a guy, which is kind of crazy. But he was really cool. All six of us went down there and picked up the PS2 and 360 bundle, 250 gig. This was 125 bucks. Uh, and then the PS3 backwards compatible, that was on an ask for a hundred bucks. It's got the four USB ports on the bottom. That's how you tell. Um, so be sure to look out for those. This was a dollar. Nice shout out to Brother Dave picking that up. It's a Gundam figure. Goes for about forty bucks. So always look at those Star Trek books. That's one thing to always look for is big lots of books that are easily, you know, one listing. I paid five bucks for all of them. I think we'll at least be able to get twenty bucks, but I would assume maybe even more. These sports cards, same kind of thing. Like, this is just easy. Easy stuff. They're all sleeved up. They're all like parallels from football cards. Nothing great, but for 10 bucks on the whole box, that's a win. Magic the Gathering, got this on an ask. Appel asked for these. 13 bucks, I believe, is what we settled on. Um, they're all modern, kind of like late, uh, but like 2020, I think, 2021, something like that. And then this, this stuff was all out, all of it kind of priced a little bit high. 100 bucks on the PS3, we got it for 60. So later in the day, we felt we could negotiate a little bit harder. We offered 50 on it. They didn't, they didn't mind. They counted with 60. Same with this, got it for 40. So a nice 33% off discount. And then the games on the table here for another 40. Yoshi's Island being the best. They had it marked at 20. So we got good discounts there. The GameCube was on an ask. And this one was a classic, like, Thane and Quinn asked for games. And they said, yeah, I've got them. You know, I've got like an old GameCube, but I don't really want to sell it. And this is where most people give up and you say, okay, no worries. But Thane goes, you sure? Like you got a GameCube with some good games. I give you 150 bucks for it. It's a bold tactic, but it, it's pretty effective for us. And I think same with this, we wouldn't have got that if we didn't push and say we can pay good money for stuff, make specific offers. So, you know, if you have a, a system with good games with it, we can pay you a hundred bucks. Stuff like that. It's effective, and Thane did end up paying 150 bucks for this. And there's some good stuff here. The Mario Kart's not in there, so that was a bummer. But Metroid Prime 2, Sunshine, Smash, Mario Party 6, and it has the Waybird Wood Receiver, two memory cards inside of it. All the controllers are third party, so that was an okay score, but that also led to my favorite score of the day, because we followed this guy three and a half miles to his house for this Game Boy Color. We all predicted what color Game Boy it would be, and Matt predicted the Pokemon edition. So he got it right. And then all these games, I asked him if he'd be happy with 50 bucks for it. He said yes. I said, okay, cool, I'll give you 100. So that was fun to be able to pay, pay more than he uh, <laughs> agreed to. But there's some good Pokemon games, Zelda DX and some others in there. Dawson's Creek, $7, that's gonna be a good Amazon one likely. And then we got four 360 games, Matt picked these up, 20 bucks. It's an okay, a, probably not the best score, but it is what it is. Uh, the Thumb Wars, we had to pick it up for a dollar. I mean, what the heck is that? If you've seen it, let me know. I'm really curious. And then, you know, got this for my for my newborn. It might actually be too small for him, but either way, it was seven bucks brand new. I could sell it for 20 if I wanted to. Brother Dave picked this up on the table. First thing, second day for one dollar. That's insane. Xbox One controller, beautiful condition. And then the Wii bundle was also on an ask. Almost everything from the second day, again, on an ask. And these are asks that were like, it wasn't just one, one ask. It was like, oh, you do, but you don't want to sell it? Okay, well, we drove three hours to buy our games. You know, like, are you sure? Bring them out of the basement. We'll pay good money. In fact, this one, they just had a Wii Fit board out, and Matt asked 
if they had the Wii system for sale. They said, actually, it's back home, but I might sell it. So 35 bucks, or 45 bucks on this bundle. But it's got the three bundlers, Wii Sports, Mario Kart Wii, and Wii Sports Resort. We forgot to take the Wii Fit board, but I'm not too upset about it. We had a full car, full load, and there's more. So this was a sale. We were at it, and the audio cut out while we were there. But I bought the whole table full of video games. So they had a bunch of stuff. We've done deal deals with these guys in the past, actually Tom and Jerry. They're brothers, and those, that's their names. So they're great dudes. And they have sports cards and video games. It's kind of, kind of right up my alley. So I initially stacked a bunch of the video games that I wanted on the table. And, you know, I said, okay, you got them at 400 bucks marked. Would you take 200 um, They're all marked kind of high. You can see the Vita at 125 I mean, it's complete in box, just missing the game. So almost complete. So, like, they're decent prices, 75 on a PS3 Slim. To me, that's decent. Um... But we, we kind of worked some deals and to the point where I think I paid, probably got like 40% off of their marked prices, but I bought like hundreds of dollars. I spent 440 on video games and then 410 on sports cards. And for sports cards, I just paid half of their sticker. And they pretty much had everything marked pretty accurately. And I really only got like autos, rookie cards, desirable stuff. There's one in here that's that's quite good. Let me find that. Yeah, this one. They had it marked at 150. I saw some solds at like 110 all the way up to like 250. And this is number to 25. It's got Odell Beckham Jr., Jamar Chase, and Justin Jefferson. It's a triple patch from LSU. So I really liked that one. And I think that one will probably be able to get 200 bucks for it. So 410 bucks on all the cards, probably those will be worth seven, 800 bucks, but they'll be really easy, quick sales, quick listings. And that was everything. That's the full pickup. Garage sale season is back, guys. Subscribe for more. Bye.